Hello, my name is Dr. Joshua Peterson. I am professor and chair of the Department of Neurosurgery for the Mount Sinai Health System. Well, over the past several years, we have focused on building our divisions, which deal with the disease states that neurosurgery patients face, such as brain tumors and vascular problems, stroke, pediatric neurosurgery, movement disorders, epilepsy, and so on. We have thought of these divisions of neurosurgery as departments. And so we have attempted to recruit the nation's best and brightest leaders in each one of these areas, building programs around their expertise into very strong and sometimes very large divisions, many of which rival the average neurosurgery department in other parts of this country. Some of our national and global accomplishments focus and center on the creation of the division subspecialization that I just mentioned. For example, in the vascular space, we recruited one of the world's great leaders, Dr. Jay Mako, to run that division. And he's turned that into a very large program with 10 full-time faculty, uh, which makes it larger than the average neurosurgery department. We have reduced time to needle and time to treatment from the onset of stroke down to very low numbers, meaning very fast treatment times. And in some cases have achieved results that are the best in the globe in terms of how fast our patients are getting treated and how outstanding their outcomes are. In other areas, we've created centers of excellence around movement disorders with one of the great deep brain stimulation programs in the country pediatric responsive neurostimulation for intractable epilepsy is another example. Our division of neurocritical care is world-class. Our NEMAT program, Neuroemergencies Management and Transfers, transfers more than 1,000 patients every year with critical neurological illness between our hospital systems uh, to enhance care. We have one of the largest pituitary skull base and brain tumor programs in the country with NIH funded research and numerous clinical trials in all of those areas. Neurosurgery is inherently a technological field. We rely very heavily on advanced digital and other technologies in the operating room. And through a significant partnership with industry, we have innovated in many creative ways. For example, in the use of augmented and virtual reality, in the use of artificial intelligence, in the use of advanced digital platforms, we have brought new technologies and developed new technologies that enhance our ability to deliver, deliver patient care. But more importantly, we've created Sinai Biodesign, which is an incubator for innovative device creation where surgeons work together with engineers, all within Sana Biodesign, to create new solutions for vexing problems that we face in the operating room, to turn those solutions into products and those products into companies, and to spin out value for patients and for Mount Sinai. All of these activities are aimed at improving outcome. For example, by creating a center of excellence, we can focus disease states into one location, taking advantage of the large health system to create a center that treats what would normally be a rare disease every single day, turning rare diseases into common ones, giving surgeons and other healthcare professionals the experience they would need to become expert, developing clinical protocols and research protocols that allow us to advance the care of each disease state and each condition that our patients might face. So if in a large health system, we would have seen 400 intracerebral hemorrhages distributed over eight hospitals, for example, now with the centers of excellence model, all of those intracerebral hemorrhages will go to one location and the team there becomes expert developing new treatments to help patients and improve safety.
Likewise, Sanai Biodesign is creating new solutions and new devices to treat and help us treat conditions that require advanced technologies that may not have existed before Sinai Biodesign. So in this way, by recruiting the best and brightest and giving them the highest levels of technology, we're improving outcomes and improving safety for our patients.